Everybody good? Hold on. Uh, Mike Lyons, you know who you are and whatnot, but for other people who might be using this material uh, for my shot, can you just say the person last name into the microphone, please? Michael Carter. Thank you, sir. JB, you didn't say that to the rest of the guys. <laughs> well, I know some guys are going to question me asking them to do that, uh, so I just, just let them know why I'm happy to do that. Thank you, though. Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. Mike, a lot of players have said you're the energy guy, the team. Why is that a role you embrace, and, and why do you think you're the guy? And what do you do that gives the team energy? I got to be myself, and that's the easiest part of it. Um, creating your own energy is difficult for some people, and it's not for me. So I feel like energy is contagious. I don't know if you've ever seen the Hard Knocks with uh, Jarvis Landry. Contagious. <laughs> How, how much of a high do you personally get when you give other guys energy and they respond with energy? It's probably my favorite thing, like, in my whole life that I do well. Like, when I see people that are, like, down and I do my best to pick them up, they're not always going to be picked up like, immediately. So I, it's not like, come on, please be picked up. Like, <laughs> it's more like a, I can, I'm doing what I can, like, what I know how to do, you know, to help others. On the flip side, when it doesn't work, how frustrating is that for you? And do you have any other kind of tactics maybe you go to to try to really get it going? Uh, sometimes people need space. So I'm fully aware of that as well. Um, but if, if, if I can't get to somebody, and someone else can. So um, I make sure I reach out to other people and just see how we can help this individual. How vocal have you been the last couple of days coming off uh, this point from Friday? Uh, I think I've been pretty vocal. Not necessarily like raw, raw, because not everybody responds to that. But you know, being able to have real conversations with my teammates and see where we went wrong, what we did right, what we can build on, um, what we need to do better, and those are those are conversations that we have to have, win or loss. So, have those conversations been different this year from last year after a loss? Um, no, because I feel like most of the time, like when you lose a game. It's the same things. It's lack of execution, turnovers, um, whoever scores the most points wins. So, Michael, have you always been that high energy guy, or is that something that just kind of football brought out of you when you were kind of growing up? You, you know? Really, though, I've been playing football since I was four years yeah, old. Sure, so. I don't know any mm -hmm. other way. I mean, I've always been pretty high energy, though. My mom said I was a, had a lot of energy as a baby, so I guess it's natural. Your, your two brothers high energy, or you think it's product of being the third? No, nah, we're pretty all high energy. I think I'm probably the highest energy out of the three, just because I am like the middle child, like whatever. But <clears throat> my older brother Dwayne, he's high energy, like just like me, except for he's older. That's probably the only difference. And then my younger brother's like, he can be more quiet, but when it, like when we're all together, it's it's pretty pretty electric. What's been the general vibe of the team after the Wake Forest loss? Um, we took it as a learning experience. Um, I don't know if you heard Mac earlier, like last week, he said, you know, we just ran out of time. And we do take a lot of pride in the fourth quarter. Like, we take so much pride in the fourth quarter. But it's also, we got to start fast. You know, we got to take pride in the first and second and third. I think we do, but I think the emphasis needs to be on, you know, win the game, you know. The how what? Yeah, it's gonna be huge. I don't know. Um, I can't think of many teams that can go backwards on first down. And, you know, still scoring the drive. So getting ahead of the chains on first down is so crucial. It's so important, and I feel like that's what helps. You know, that's what helps any offense. You know, thrive when they're moving the ball down the field and instead of going three and out six times in a row. Well, how do you uh, like the progression of the running game in this new system with Matt Brown? How do you like it so far through the first three games? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been good. You know, being able to just help any way we can. You know, as a group, we don't care if we get the ball one time in the game. We want to win the game, and we want to do whatever it takes to win the game. So and, uh, it's it's been fun. You know, we like carrying the ball. Um, we like getting creative with uh, you know, the run game. But at the end of the day, we just want to win. Obviously, so. Friday. Was an outcome that y'all wanted, but you know you had probably your best game of the season. Does that make you more confident in your own performance for the rest of the season? Uh, I don't really get confidence from football. Yeah, I get confidence from knowing who I am and 
my family and you know, my peers. Like, that gives me confidence that, that they know who I am and I'm not going to change. So. That you want to return a kick. So oh, bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want to win. No, I just want to win somebody a car. Like, that's it. I want to win someone a car. <laughs> then they win a car if I return a kick. Oh, with the radio? Yeah, or like at the first one or at halftime. I just want to win somebody a car. So bad. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, I just want to win somebody a car. Like, <laughs> what goes in that decision to down? Is it just you see them? It's just too far deep. And yeah, there's. I mean, there's rules to it. I don't know if I'm allowed to. You know. I mean, it's basically kickoff return rule. Yeah. Like, if it's too far back, you know, go to 25 and take the take the drive there. <laughs> or if it's like way outside the blocking scheme, I'm really gonna take the ball in 25. That's not bad starting position. You know, if we if we fair catch a, a kick every time for the rest of the year, we're gonna be top five in yards per return. Yards of return are not bad. <laughs> Do you have to resist the temptation to return, thinking every time that you can get something significant on that return? No, it's not hard because that's selfish. If I take a kick out, that's nine yards deep. <laughs> so I just want to win the game. What do you think of uh, Danami's block on your touchdown? Had, did you guys have him talk about it? I forgot. I it's straight. I think he forgot too. <laughs> but I'm so thankful for him. Like. I didn't do anything on the play. Sam threw me the rock. Ran a little bit. He only put his life on the line for me. I gave him a hug after the game, a big one, and then show show some love to him. I, I'm thank you, thank you, Diami. I, I forgot to tell him. I told him Friday, but like I need to tell him every day for the rest of the year because he really put his life on the line for me, and I respect that. Switching up the tempo a little bit about uh, Appalachian State. Coming off the Wake Forest loss, how much, uh, what are the coaches basically saying to you guys as far as not taking App State lightly, the, the, the former program that they are and, and, and the uh, opponent they will be this Saturday? Yeah, well, I don't think we take anybody lightly. But also, you know, we, we know App State is a good team. We knew Wake Forest was a good team. We knew Miami was a good team. We knew South Carolina was a good team. We know there's no bad teams in college football. Best team was on that day, but no teams are really bad in college football. So like, going back to App State, they're a very athletic team, very fast, very physical, very strong. They expect to win every game. Um, they're a program that goes 10, 11 wins every season, 12. Right? So we, we know who they are. And you know we respect, we respect them you know, big time. And it's going to be a fun game Saturday. I heard they're trying to bring a lot of fans. Michael, how does it turn out um, in a home opener, especially from the student section? How does that make you even more excited for return? Yeah, we sold out Keenan the first time in 30 hours, and then we sold our student tickets in 30 minutes. I just hashtagged on the Tar Heel football page, Phil Keenan, 30 minutes before the game. That's the hashtag. I'll go start that trend. Um, but yeah, um, coming home to Keenan Stadium is, is really fun, especially when it's filled. Um, playing in front of your student body is like something that you, you it's priceless. Like, there's no valuable trade, you know. So um, just happy to be back in front of my friends, um, my family, our family, and just excited to play this Saturday. All right. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate you, Michael. Don't forget your phones. That's a good question about the block. I thought about that. I tell you what, their receivers.